Hey everybody, it's Holly here. Um, I wanted to do a quick training with you all about coaches. So, how do you know who you should present the business to? All right, so we're gonna go over 10 characteristics of successful Team Beach Body coaches. These are important because as you are thinking about who you want to have working with you on your team, which means you are going to be working together, it's important to keep these characteristics in mind um, as you are thinking about people, as you are talking about people, as people are talking to you about the business. Because remember, um, this is your team. This is your business. And, you know, just as much as someone is asking you questions about coaching and what's involved, you're also interviewing that person too to be a part of your business and your team. You wanna make sure you have good people on your team. So, number one, obviously you want someone who is positive. Positive is a big deal. Um, these are people who are positive members of your challenge group. They are, you know, posting positive things. They are generally positive people. If you looked at their social media profile, it's filled with positivity want positivity. Coaches have to be positive. No negative Nellies. <laughs> no. Um, positive people, they look at you, they smile, they look you in the eye. All right, so number two. Ideally, you want someone who's disciplined. Um, this doesn't necessarily have to look the same for every single person. Don't, it doesn't mean that they're a list checker or this and that. It just means that they're the kind of person that when they say they're going to do something, they do it. They're disciplined to get it done. Um, number three you want someone who is committed to their health. They are committed to using you know, real fitness, eating real food, following real nutrition plans. Um, they are interested in being healthy in the right kind of ways. They are not looking for a quick fix. They are not looking you know, for Shakeology to be the be all end all so that they don't have to you know, do fitness. They don't have to you know, meal plan and watch what they eat. You want someone who is genuinely striving to be healthy for themselves and for their families if they have families. Number four, this is a big one. You want people who are others focused. Our job as coaches, really when you come down to like the, the nitty gritty of it, is serving other people. We are loving on other people. We are serving other people. We are are using what we what we have but we're using our experiences to help others. That is that is what we are doing. And so you wanna make sure that the person that you are talking to or considering is an other focused person. Um, some red flags in this area would be somebody that, you know, just talks about their own situation, their own problems, when it is always coming back to them. You don't want it, it's all about me person. Um, you want someone who is truly, um, driven to help other people be successful. You want someone, number five, who is honest and who has integrity. Um, most of the time, you are gonna know this up front, um, but you know, sometimes you won't, and you just have to have the right feeling about it that this is someone who is honest, this is someone who means what they say, they're going to, you know, they're gonna honor their commitments, they're gonna, you know, do what they say they're gonna do and they're gonna you know work with integrity I'm never gonna have to worry about this person doing something shady or underhanded um, number six it would be really really good if they have a very solid why um, you know if they have a really good reason for wanting to be a coach they are gonna be a great coach because that why as we all know has to be stronger than all the life things that can get in the way I mean, we're talking somebody and they just really love the programs and products. If they have had amazing success, if they are just truly driven to help other people, if they're passionate about health and fitness, if maybe they have a spouse who's lost a job and they want to earn income because they need to support their family, um, or someone who is really unhappy that they have to put their kids in daycare every day or they can't be home with their children and they would like a job where they can have the flexibility to like be with their family. These are strong, strong whys. These are, um, you know, people's stories. And if they have a good, deep, true, this is who I am story and this is why I want to do it, they're going to be a great coach. 
Number seven, you obviously want someone who works well with others who is a team player. This sort of cycles back around to, you know, the number four part of not being selfish and, uh, and being other focused. You want someone who is, no, understands that we, yes, have our own businesses, that, you know, we are each unique in how we do our own businesses because this business allows us to bring our unique personalities to it. But we are also a team and this team for sure is about teamwork and working together and doing each pulling our our part to do what's best for the team to build the team to keep everybody um, where they need to be to to be able to help everyone grow and reach their goals so you definitely want to be looking for someone who is a team player um, you ideally want someone who's a good communicator again this looks different from for every single person just just being you know super outgoing that's not what makes you a good communicator um i even just listened to a podcast that shalene did which was great talking about you know introverts and extroverts and the differences and honestly how introverts are great on social media and um video you know as far as being able to reach other people because they're intuitive and in tune to the feelings of others and they are real and raw and presentable. So you just want someone who can communicate well, who can talk to other people, who can get their point across. And I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect. We do a lot of learning in this area as new coaches on, you know, how to communicate, how to explain things and all of that. I mean, we, we do training, but you want someone who, 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 you know, can communicate well with others, however that works. Some people are really great writing and typing. Some people are better on video. Some people are better face-to-face -face on the phone. Just that they are good communicators. Number nine, ideally, um, as this business grows, you are going to need to be organized. Now, I'm constantly rearranging and changing how I you know, stay organized. I know that that's part of the process, but as your business grows, and for people who are serious about building their business, it's going to require more and more organization of your information, of your business, of your time. So someone who is naturally, you know, has a tendency to be more organized, that's going to be a big plus for you um, when you are thinking about who you want to have on your team. Because otherwise, it's going to be really hard to keep up with everything that's going on. And then number 10, self-motivation. Um... You know, I'm trying to remember who it was that explained this, and I saw it, I can't remember on what video, but it kind of talked about, um, you know, okay, our job is not to drag anybody with us on this business. Um, this is a unique business in that your success and or ultimate failure, your level of success, it falls on you and um, not that we don't provide tons of resources and work together, but you have, the individual has to want it. They have to be motivated. They have to work. And you, if somebody seems like you're going to have to hold their hand and drag them along with you, not a good coach prospect. You want people who are self-motivated, that they, you know, are going to go looking for answers if they don't know them. They're going to ask about it. They're not just going to sit there and and wait for you to um, tell them and spoon feed everything. Or that you feel like, hmm, this person may be someone that I am going to have to drag along. No. We are leaders of our own team. So you're out here. You lead by example. And people come with you because they want to come with you because they want to run with the leader of the pack. You you can't be dragging people along. Like you just have to, that's not, that's not good for anybody. So, you know, you definitely want to have somebody who is self-motivated. I would love for you to take these 10 characteristics and I will um, try to, I will bullet point them right below the video. Um, and... Put them somewhere where you can see them, where you have easy access to them. Maybe it's a note in your phone, whatever you want to do. Save the post so that when you are talking to prospective coaches to join your team, to join our team, you have these in the forefront of your mind. Before you get on a call with somebody, you can kind of have these right here so that if you see red flags in the beginning, um, 
you'll know this person's not really ready to coach right now. Um, maybe this is not a, a good fit for me or for my team. Um, you can bring them up. You can say, listen, I hear what you're saying. This is, you know, whatever. Here are my concerns. Um, what, what, what do you think about this? What can we do? Um, Make sure if you have other qualities that you are looking for in your coaches to fit your unique style and your vision for your team, add those on there. You want to be attracting leaders. Um, you also need to keep growing yourself as a leader so that you can attract leaders to the business. Um, if you're talking to people and they have most or all of the characteristics you're looking for in someone the coach, awesome. You know, um, share your story with them ask a lot of questions, find out, you know, what they have to offer, what they're looking for, what their why is. Um, and remember, you know, you are actually interviewing them. So, you know, um, you're committing to them too when, when they say yes and, you know, you're, you're promising that you'll be there and that you're committing to deliver to your coaches, but, um, and you want to be real and honest and truthful and integrity, have full integrity with that. But you also want to remember that, you know, you are, are building your team. And so this is your interview too. Um, just to recap really quick, and then I'll let you go. Um, the top, the 10 top characteristics of successful coaches that you want to be looking for, positive, disciplined, committed to their health, Others focused, they can't be selfish, honest, and they work with integrity. They have a solid why, um, which you may have to dig in to help them figure that out sometimes. Um, they work well with others. They are a good communicator. They're organized and self-motivated. I hope you all found this helpful. Please comment below too with any questions that you have and have a fabulous day.